Hi, hello. Today I have this very rainbow, glittery, dramatic look. If you watch my channel, you'll know that I like the more creative, colourful looks. I do now and again do the odd natural look, but I like to put my own twist on things and add some, you know, stuff to the look. And yeah, I love the glitter in the inner corner. I love the eyelashes. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the looks I create and all the other content I do. I sometimes do hauls as well. And make sure to give this a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Yeah, if you wanna see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prime or cover my eyelids basically. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C0.5, just looks like this. So then I'm going to carve up my eyebrows. So for this video I'm going to be using the Paradigma Shift Palette and the first shade I'm going to go in with is the dark blue up here and I'm just going to place this on the outer crease, in my crease but stopping in the middle. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take the light blue by here, this one, and I'm just going to blend this dark blue out. Next, I'm going to take this bright bubble pink pink, and I'm going to put this in the lower inner corner. Next I'm going to take the bright yellow shade and place that on top of the pink. Okay, so next I'm going to cut the crease. I'm going to I'm just going to use the cut the concealer we used for the lid and I'm going to cut the crease. So now I'm going to take the white from the palette okay, So now I'm going to take the yellow shade and pop that about halfway across the lid My love, if you feel like I do right now Don't say then I'm going to take the orange Then I'm going to take the pink Then I'm going to take the lighter blue to start off with just a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with the dark blue. Say you wanna try, but you never do. Okay, so that is the upper lid done. So now I'm going to add a little bit of black in my upper waterline, a black pencil liner. Then I'm just going to add a little tiny line of black liquid liner. It's just the soap and glory one. Okay, so then to go on the lower lash line, I'm going to use the Colourpop Gel Cream Pencil Liner. This is in the shade Punch. Colourpop are really good for their pencil liners if you want a bright 
eyeliner pencil. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the face. Okay, so first I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm gonna try it out again today. Very, very watery. It smells great. I'm gonna be using this at the end. Hopefully it's not gonna ruin my makeup because it's like splotchy in places. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to wet my sponge. Okay, so for actual primer, I'm gonna be taking the Revolution Super Fruit Extract Primer. This is a serum and primer in one. I'm gonna make sure to shake it. I haven't used it yet. Hopefully it's good. It's kind of like a iridescent, like, unicorn kind of colour, like holographic. Oh, it smells like, it smells like cake. So I'm gonna blend this out as per usual with a dual fibre brush because it's like a oily consistency. Definitely smells like cake batter. If you're not a fan of smells, then you probably won't like this because it is quite strong. We'll see if it lasts as well, the smell. I have a spot on my chin here, I have one on my cheek as well, and one by here, and one by here. I'm breaking out a bit, I think it might be the new face wash I'm using, but I'm not really sure. Oh, I'm getting cold. Really, it's getting warm. <laughs> okay, so for foundation, I'm going to take the Revolution Fast Base stick. I have two shades, I have the F7 and F2. I do normally just use F7, but I am running pretty low on this, as you can see. So I'm going to just mix them both and hopefully it turns out okay. I, don't know what you want. Let's I haven't used this in a while and I used to use it quite a bit, but I do absolutely love this foundation. I'm going to take that on a Morphe Y6 brush to start off with. I think I'm going to spray my brush a little bit with the Primer Setting Spray by Too Faced. that my hair is a mess again but I'm just not a hair person whatsoever I focus on makeup most of the time okay so I'm gonna go in with a sponge and just dab out the extra product for concealer I'm gonna go in with the Colourpop no filter concealer in the shade light 10 that out with a sponge. I've just ordered the Colourpop foundation stick so hopefully I can it comes soon and I can test that out. Okay so then for powder I'm gonna set the face with the Rimmel Match Perfection powder. First set my under eyes. Now I'm going to contour slightly. I'm gonna use the Morphe oh, powder everywhere. Morphe Bron Bronto, which is a bronzer and contouring one. Just looks like this. I love the new packaging. This is in the shade Slebutant. Slebutant. Whatever that means. Um, I'm just gonna take it on a like small brush on the M Morphe M530, and I'm just gonna swirl into both the shades, but you don't need much of this at all, which I learned from the first time using it, especially on lighter complexions. So I'm going to 
that loose powder again, the remote loose powder, and I'm just going to go under the contour. Okay, so for actual bronzer to give a little bit of warmth to my face, I'm going to use the remote natural bronzer in the shade 025 Sun Glow. You will know if you watch my channel that this is one of my faves. So I'm not going to go too precise with this and you don't need much because it is quite orangey. It has got a little bit of shimmer in there too so beware of that because obviously it's meant to be a sun glow. Now I'm going to take the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I'm going to wipe that powder away. Now I'm going to set the face. Okay, so I just went off camera and did my eyebrows. Now I'm going to do highlight. This is the Barry M Baked Try Blend Highlighter. It's not the best highlighter in the world, but it's very dramatic and very out there. So this is the Solstice, Silver Solstice one. I'm just going to swirl all in there. You say you want to try, but you never Okay, so that is the face done. I am going to go off camera and do my eyelashes. So I'm going to put the Maybelline Lash, Sen Lash <coughs> I'm going to put the Maybelline Lash Sensational mascara on, and then I'm going to use the Tati lashes in TL5. They are very, very dramatic. So yeah, I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so these. Eyelashes are very dramatic, love them. Now I'm going to go back to the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take the lighter blue first and blend this under the lash line. And then I'm going to take the dark blue and just do the same thing again. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of the white shade again and pop that in the inner corner just to add like a base colour for the glitter. Then I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Glue and apply the glitter that I got off eBay, but there is a website. I just get them off eBay because they have a buy three, get three free. That's a mouthful. Um, so I'll link down below the actual website. It's just this really nice like mint green holographic pinky glitter but first I'm going to take the glue and press that on the outer corner but you never do. Sugar, a white bits in there as well which is actually quite nice then I'm going to do the same to the other eye now I just need to add a little bit of lower lash mascara okay so that is the eyes done very dramatic very out there which I love now for lips i'm gonna go in with the colourpop lippy pencil in the shade bff2 just a really nice a mid-tone nude then i'm gonna take the anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in pure hollywood which is a nice pinky nude okay so i was gonna add a gloss but i think i'm gonna leave it there okay so that is it this is the final look really hope you enjoyed it please let me know down below if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more looks like this from me Really, really enjoyed creating this look. I love the glitter in the inner corner. It just adds something different, you know? Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I love it to the moon and back. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.